Hi, this is KHIT Tutorials with another tutorial. Uh, today I will show you uh, another way to install FL Studio on uh, macOS. Uh, the first tutorial I made uh, on how to install FL Studio on macOS uh, was using an application called WineButtler. And today I will show you how to do it with the uh, Parallels desktop uh, in, and especially use it in coherence mode. Uh, which will work uh, and look just like in um, when we used wine butter. Um, if you followed my previous tutorial, you may already have uh, Parallels and Windows XP or Windows 7 or whatever operating system you choose to install uh, installed on your comp on your Mac. So um, I won't uh, talk a lot. Let's get started with the. Installation of FL Studio. I have the installation file right here, and um, make sure you have your Windows installation started. Um, you can run it in coherence mode, or you can use uh, the normal virtual machine mode, or whatever you want. This tutorial also works for um, virtual box and uh, VMware Fusion and uh, whatever visualization applications out there. But I will use Parallels in Coherence mode and running Windows XP. So what you're gonna do if you're doing just as me, uh, you'll have the FL Studio installation file on your Mac desktop, and um, if it's Windows XP, it may look just like my icon here. And um, well, let's get started. Uh, let's start by double-clicking the exe file, and um, it will launch the installation program for FL Studio. And um, if you use coherence mode, it will come up in the dock. And um, here we have the installer. So. Um, just click next and agree and um, again the desktop icon uh, isn't necessary just like uh, in the wine bottle tutorial the desktop icon won't show on your Mac desktop only on the Windows desktop so uh, it's there's no idea in having the desktop icon selected so um, just press next and next and uh, next and install and now it's installing FL Studio 10 this tutorial also works for FL Studio 9 installation procedure is the same so um, <laughs> yes um, this tutorial shows you how to install it in a virtual system so um, <laughs> FL Studio 9 will be installed just the same way as this um, and um, I hope it, it helped you guys um, installing FL Studio uh, either using Wine Butler or using this. Um, beware that when using a virtual system, uh, the memory allocated to the virtual machine um, will make your Mac a little bit slower. Uh, you saw mine, it lagged a little bit uh, when opening the installers. That was because uh, I didn't uh, have enough memory in my system. I only have two gigabytes. Uh, later, I will upgrade to four or six gigabytes of RAM, so it will run a little bit faster and uh, make a better tutorial for you guys without any lag or slow performance or whatsoever. <laughs> and uh, again, I want to. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> a little bit about my, my web page um, it's I would really appreciate if you want to visit the page and um, you can watch my tutorials at uh, my web page also and um, yeah the link is uh, always in the description it's also in my previous tutorials and video updates and uh, I also want to apologize for any viewers who have watched the um, the part two of my uh, parallelist tutorial because I, I I fucked it up to to say it to say it in in a, in a nice way. Um, 
in my editing program I did this stupid thing that I copied the the, the selection selected the part the files that were needed for part two and uh, copied them and then deleted everything in the uh, on the timeline and inserted the the files and for some weird reason it has also copied the files I didn't want to have so it has actually put the seven and a half minute uh, long recording for part two at the top and the fourteen uh, almost fifteen minutes long. Um, part one uh, in the bottom so the sounds will overlap each other and <laughs> that wasn't the meaning so I apologize for that and then um, in a few seconds uh, FL Studio is installed and um, I will see you as soon as FL Studio is finished Well, uh, now FL Studio is installed, uh, now we need to install the SEO for all uh, driver, uh, which will uh, be for some sound thing. I don't actually use it, so I and only know that it's for some uh, for some sound editing whatsoever. So you can you install this in the when we select it to don't install desktop icon. You could also select not to install SEO. But um, I will install it and um, just leave this screen as is if you don't want some one of these programs. So yeah, press install and now SEO has been installed and uh, it has created the desktop icon uh, for the SEO instruction. Uh, so maybe you could have used their FL Studio. Uh, desktop icon also, but it would look just like this or something. It's finished, and the SU is installed. And now it comes here that if you have purchased FL Studio, download, install, registration code, la 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 la. And um, press next, and next, and now we're going to run FL Studio. And Here we have it, FL Studio demo version. But um, yes, it will load a standard project, and uh, I will of course show that it's also working in uh, in um, this way to install it. So uh, I will create a new project. This this version actually isn't a little bit pingy or laggy or whatever you want to call it as the wine bottler edition and also these uh, uh, errors by FL Studio 9 I think don't uh, come up and there's no errors here and um, also when creating a new temp file from template we have a lot more options so I would create a little easy beat so Well, guys, actually, can see it's it's working. So, yeah. Yeah, that was it for for this time. Um, again, thanks for watching and. Um, Please subscribe if uh, you like my tutorials and uh, like my videos and uh, please comment if you have uh, any questions or contact me private message or uh, through the contact page on my new website or if you have anything you want to, to tell me good or bad about my tutorials and uh, whatsoever I'm making if kind of videos um, you are also welcome to, to put that into the comments section. Um, yes, that was was it. Um, again, thanks for watching, and um, see you soon for another tutorial.